Happy Halloween, guys. This is the Proud Nerd, and today, or should I say tonight, we will be taking a look at the ultimate NECA Michael Myers from Halloween 2. And I want to say again, Happy Halloween to all of you guys. I hope you guys are having a great Halloween. Hope you guys are getting lots of trick-or-treaters. Just give me one second to clear these lights out, and we'll take a closer look at Michael. All right, guys, and we are back. I just wanted to clear those lights out. And yes, we will be looking at the Halloween 2 Michael Myers. Uh, hang on, guys. I need. I want to adjust my camera. There we go. That's much better. But yes, we will be taking a look at this guy. And I will say, he is impressive. Yeah, this Michael Myers is very impressive. I, I seriously was blown away by how much I like this guy. I just love all the details on him. But, before we get into him, let's look at the box that he came in. Which is very nicely done. Let me back out a bit. This box is very cool. I love that, that artwork on the front there. It's the, the classic Halloween 2 uh, VHS cover that I remember seeing at my local video store all the time, especially during the Halloween season. So yeah, this box is very nostalgic for me. It brings back a lot of good memories. Ultimate Michael Myers. Man, I just love that skull. It looks so cool. And I love on the side there, you got Halloween 2. Got that awesome skull at the top there. NECA Real Toys. On the back, we got some pretty cool pictures. Love that. Recreating the scene where Michael gets shot in the eyes and he's just wildly swinging the scalpel everywhere. Got a little read up here. While Sheriff Brackett and Dr. Loomis hunt for Michael Myers, a traumatized Lori is rushed to the hospital, and the serial killer is not far behind her. And I will say, the product photos of this Michael Myers look different than the actual figure. I mean, don't get me wrong, the product figure, the product pictures and the actual figure look really good. It's just, they don't look identical. They don't look the same. So I'm thinking this is an early production uh, figure that they used for the promotional pictures. And you got the the Ben Tramer head there, which I love. It's a very nice touch added by NECA. And you got Michael Myers there, looking very creepy. You got the classic Halloween 2 pumpkin, which does open up and I love. We open the box here. You got a nice uh, picture of the figure there. And it looks like he's... Yeah, it does look like he's in the hospital. Just very nicely done. Very nicely done. I like that a lot. So yeah, I really like that box a lot. Really highlights how awesome the figure is. And before we look at Michael, I want to show you guys his accessories. First off, his alternate head. Which is almost exactly the same as the one he has on, except the blooded tears are coming down. And if I can turn my light on here, yeah, you can actually see eyes in there. And they got blood in them, which is accurate. But since he was shot in the eyes, shouldn't his eyes be completely gone? I love how Halloween 4 through 6, even H2O and Resurrection, just completely ignored the fact that he got shot in the eyes. Yet, in those following sequels, he still had eyes. But, um, this, this right here is phenomenal. Looks just like the movie. I love those blood tears coming down. You got the puncture wound or puncture mark in the mask with blood coming out of it from when La Lori stabbed him in the neck with the needle, the sewing needle. 
And I love how the mask is dirty. You got um, some discoloration in the hair going on. Which is accurate to how the mask looked both in the movie and in real life. Man, very nicely done mask. And the second head that he came with amuses me very much. It's the Ben Tramer head, or Ben Tramer mask. And why this amuses me so much is because, um, if you guys saw Halloween 2, Ben Tramer was out trick-or-treating in a Michael Myers costume, nonetheless, with a Michael Myers mask, similar to his, but not identical because of the crazy hair. And, out, and Dr. Loomis thinks it's Michael out trick-or-treating and holding a trick-or-treat bag. Come on, Dr. Loomis, you're smarter than that. Anyway, so he goes uh, uh, chasing after Ben, who he thinks is Michael, and uh, Ben Tramer crosses the road, and out of nowhere, a cop car zooms in and crashes into Ben, and then the car and Ben crash into a van that's parked there, and Ben catches on fire and burns to death. It's like, what just happened? That is a that is a definite WTF moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that was in the movie, but I'm so glad it was, because it was so stupid, it's awesome. And if you guys can see that, no, I'm going to turn the light on here. You can actually see Ben Tramer's eyes in there compared to Michael Myers' eyes. Yeah, I love that they did, that NECA went the extra mile to give the Ben Tramer head sculpt uh, brighter looking eyes compared to Michael's dark eyes. That, that was not needed. But I'm so glad that NECA did that. In fact, this whole head sculpt was not needed. But I'm so happy that NECA included it. It's very amusing to me. And this is perfect for customizers. If you just want to cut off the sideburns here. Can you? Yeah, they're not glued down. NECA, you sneaky, sneaky people. You get... That's why you gave this to us collectors. So we could customize this into a Halloween 1 mask. NECA, I love you. That was sneaky. But yeah, the Ben Tramer head looks really awesome. And I can definitely see this being a Michael Myers 1 uh, mask, uh, mask from Halloween 1. Customizers just take the time to it. Cut the this um, hair off, cut the sideburns off, repaint it, you got yourself a Halloween 1 Michael Myers mask. NECA, that was very sneaky. Wow. So yeah, we will be changing heads here in a bit. I, I want to show you guys what he looks like with this mask on. And next is my favorite accessory. The pumpkin. Now something's wrong with mine because no matter how much I close it, it opens back up a little bit. Uh, something must be wrong with the hinge. But it's not enough to make me not like this accessory. The pumpkin looks really, really well done. I love the sculpting and the paint on it. No, it, lo it really gives the illusion that it's a real pumpkin. I love that face from the ha Halloween 2 opening. Every time I look at this, I just hear that music playing. I just hear that da na 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 playing, but from Halloween 2. And I love that it actually opens up to reveal the skull inside. That's so cool. And in there, they even got texturing to look like the inside of a pumpkin. Man, NECA, you guys have just been killing it with your figures. And the skull itself is really nicely detailed. Yeah, I just love that skull. It looks so good. You could actually, if you wanted to, customize this. Cut that skull off of the pumpkin here and make it a Ghost Rider skull if you wanted to. 
But yeah, that is my favorite accessory this Michael came with. He also came with a bunch, or not a bunch, but interchangeable hands. We have the more open, grabby hands. And the right hand for holding another accessory he comes with. And the left hand for another accessory. And those accessories are a hammer, which looks really good. Love that this looks like actual wood here. That's nicely done. Very nice. And a syringe. And if you get the syringe in his hand, which you gotta do very carefully. Yeah, if you get it down in his hand enough, you can actually take his thumb and get it right on the top of the syringe there so it looks like he's pushing down on it. That is so cool. And this Michael Myers also comes with a scalpel, the main weapon he used in the hospital. Man, look at that detailing. That is amazing for such a small piece. And he has no problems holding it. Uh, but just with this hand, this hand he's holding was made for the scalpel. And you can't just put it in his hand and leave it there because it will sit loose. So what I do is I get it in his hand, push it up till I feel it's tight in there, and he's holding it. And it's not going anywhere. But it was made just for that particular hand. And since we're done with all the accessories... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. There's one more. One more accessory. Excuse me, guys. I just... I'm trying to get the syringe out of his hand. So I can change his hands out. Give me a minute here, guys. There we go. And the last accessory he comes with is the one I always have him displayed with. The kitchen knife that he got from... Uh, the name is escaping me at the moment. But an elderly wife was making a sandwich for her husband. Michael comes in, grabs the knife, and just slides away into the night. Only leaving behind his blood. That's so cool. I always have him displayed with this, because as cool as the scalpel is, I can't picture Michael Myers without a knife. So, those are all the accessories. Let's take a look at Michael himself. Damn. Damn, NECA. It's no wonder why you guys have won me over so much. This detail is just... Ugh. It's phenomenal. It looks just like Halloween 2 Michael Myers. I am just seriously blown away by this. It's like Michael Myers from Halloween 2 shrunk down and jumped out of the TV and I'm holding him in my hands. I want to see if we can get any closer on that mask. Oh man, that just looks so awesome. I love it. Love that it's starting to weather away right there. The, the white is starting to wear away. Oh, that looks so good. Love the, the dirt splotch up here. Man, this figure is just so good. And I love the hair on him. And I heard that um, uh, Deborah Hill, who helped make the first Halloween movie, actually kept the Halloween M Michael Myers mask in her room, and she was like a very heavy smoker. And I think that's why his hair was discolored back here. It was affected by all that cigarette smoke, but I could be wrong. In fact, I probably am. I'm just taking a wild guess. Please feel free to let me know if I'm wrong about that or not. And as for the rest of him, he looks really good. The, the boiler suit looks awesome. Love all the wrinkles in it. And it's hard to tell, but there 
there is dirt also on the boiler suit. Yeah, you can see it right there. You also got it on the back too, with all those bullet holes. And if we count one, two, three, four, five, six on the f back, and one, two, three, four, five, six on the front. I shot him six times! Man, I love Halloween too. Man, this figure is just awesome. I'm loving this detail on him so much. Got the back. Nice wrinkles in the pants. There's those bullet holes again. Man, such a good figure. All right, let's switch some heads out. Which, by the way, I want to say, take the scalpel out of his hand. Uh, with this Michael Myers, switching his heads is pretty easy. What I do so I don't damage the hair, I always grab the back under, and my finger is underneath the hair and my thumb is right underneath the chin and I just uh, pull. That, that barely took any effort and that makes me very happy. Let's see what he... Uh, there we go. And there he is with his eye shot out. Put the scalpel back in his hand. Oops. Ah. Yeah, and you can recreate that scene where he's just... Whoo, 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 like in the movie. You actually hear that sound effect while he's swinging the scalpel. <laughs> I thought that sound effect was a little goofy, but I still love the movie regardless. And his hands. I really want to show you the detailing on his hands. Because... Holy moly, there's a lot of detail in it. Just his hands. Look at all that. You can see the veins. You can see the wrinkles in his knuckles. Man, that looks so good. And his hands are just grungy and dirty. And I love it. Oh, and that guy, I love you guys so much. Oh. Yeah, he looks good with this head on, but I normally don't have him displayed with this head. And let's put the Ben Tramer head on. Give it... Ah, there we go. He, he always looks ridiculous with this one on, but... Ah, I love it. It's so silly. Look at that. Can you imagine if Michael Myers had this mask instead? Oh man, I think the movie wouldn't have wouldn't have as been as effective as it was. He looks so silly, <laughs> but I love it. I love this Ben Dramer mask. Now I never have him displayed with this mask, but I love having it on him sometimes. It's so amusing. That's just awesome. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that is definitely a Halloween 1 mask right there. Just change the hair. You got yourself a Halloween Halloween 1 Michael Myers. NECA, you guys are so sneaky. I love it. All right. Put his default head back on, which is my favorite. I always have Michael with with this head on always it's my favorite all right let's switch out the hands oh yeah and if you guys can see this looks very realistic how someone would hold a knife very realistic positioning of the fingers that is a very nice touch that NECA added very nice but let's switch out some hands which by the way is so easy I love it that didn't take any force at all. Thank you so much for that, NECA. I do not have to worry about breaking the pegs on this guy. And here he is with the hammer. 
He looks awesome holding it. He's about to swing it at you. Oh, that looks awesome. I love that. And won't put it won't put the syringe in his hand at far this time. But there he is holding the syringe. That's what that looks like. Really cool. I like that a lot. But normally I always have Michael displayed holding his knife. Because to me, that's who Michael Myers is. The classic kitchen knife. Look at that. Can't you just hear that Halloween theme just looking at this? So awesome. So let's do some size comparisons with this guy. All right, here he is next to my ultimate NECA Chucky. And yeah, he, he just towers over Chucky, which is to be expected. And here he is with my favorite psychotic clown other than Joker, Pennywise. These two look awesome together. Oh, I'm giddy just looking at this. This hits the geek spot for me. And of course we have to bring in my, my other favorite other than Chucky, Jason. Wow, they look really good together. And just so it comes full circle, let's compare him next to my part six, Jason. If I can get him to stand. And if you guys can hear that, I'm sorry. It's some jerk with his loud truck. Anyways. Wow, these two look awesome together. It's so crazy to me to think that just a year ago I was reviewing this guy. Exactly one year ago. Yeah, if you guys want to, go back and check out that video. Card will be up in the corner, right hand, upper right hand corner. But yeah, these two look so awesome together. I love it. I'm so happy I finally got a Michael Myers. Let's get Jason out of here and give you guys my final thoughts on this figure. Final thoughts? I freaking love this guy. Um, if you are a huge Michael Myers fan, I recommend getting him. And if you're just a big NECA collector in general, I still recommend getting him. He will look really good on your shelf. The box is really damn well good, damn well done. The box is very nostalgic for me because it brings me back to when I was a teenager and I would go into the movie store and I would see this on the shelf, especially every year during Halloween. So yeah, very nostalgic for me. The figure itself is just awesome. Silly me, I almost forgot articulation and that's a huge part of this Michael Myers. Okay. So his head is on a ball joint. You can get some really nice crazy poses out of his head alone. You can do his famous head tilt, which mm, I love. Sorry, had a small nerdgasm there. Can look up about that far. Look down pretty good. Look down at his victims as he's about to stab them. His arms can go out about that far which isn't bad you know Michael's not gonna be doing gymnastic poses so his arms can do a full rotation and yes oh and yes of course he can look side to side with his head with his head and yes as you guys have been seeing throughout the whole video he does have double jointed elbows which I love the last NECA figure that I got that had double jointed elbows was Pennywise which I love. 
NECA, please give us more double jointed elbows, please. They help out so much with posing. And um, there's all sorts of crazy articulation in the arm. You can rotate there, rotates there, and his um, hands are on a ball joint. You can move side to side, up and down, do just all sorts of crazy awesome poses. You can do the splits, you can kick up that far. Bend in, not bad, could be better, but not bad. You can turn at the knee, and you can turn hit both of his ankles. Can His feet can go down that far, go up that far, and of course he's got that awesome ankle pivot. He would not be an ultimate figure if he didn't have ankle pivot. And from what I can tell, there is no roast ro waist rotation whatsoever in this guy. But with Michael Myers, do you really need it? No. Okay, so back to my final thoughts. Do I recommend this guy? Yes. Especially if you're a Michael Myers fan. And um, he's just perfect. He is a perfect figure in my opinion. I love this guy so much. I'm so happy I was able to get him. I highly recommend him. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on my second Halloween review. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. We have fun here on my channel. Uh, please follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to. Links to those will be in the description down below. As will the link uh, for posing action figures be in the description down below. If you want to follow me on Facebook and follow posing action figures and on Instagram, you don't have to, no pressure, but all the cool kids are doing it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me, um, and I'll catch you all later, and happy Halloween. And this is the Pro Nerd signing out, saying to all my fellow nerds and collectors out there, to stay nerdy and scary. Peace.